So there actually exists no inbuilt function in JavaScript for checking whether a number is odd or even, but this can be very useful for many purposes. For example, setting the style of odd units to one color and even units to another using JavaScript. So to do this, we have to do a little bit of work ourselves and create a utility function. And that is what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this tutorial. So thankfully it isn't too hard because we do have the remainder operator available to us in JavaScript. Now, when we apply this, it divides the left-hand side value by the value on the right-hand side. So if I say two remainder operator two, this is going to be two divided by two, and the return value is not the result of that calculation, but the remainder. So in this case, there's going to be nothing left over because two can be split evenly. So the outcome is going to be zero. So even numbers always do this. They always return a remainder of zero because they can be split evenly. So we can encapsulate this functionality in a reusable function to check whether a number is even or not. So I'll go ahead and start creating that function now. So we can call this odd or even. And it's going to have one parameter, and that's going to be uh, x representing the number that's going to be passed into it when we call it. And inside we want a conditional statement checking the value of x. Okay, and if it's an even number, then it's going to, using this, this calculation, x remainder um, 2, it's going to return 0. So if it's even, I'm just going to log a message to the console saying the number is even. And otherwise, I want to log a similar message to the console saying the number is odd. And just tidy this up a little bit. Okay, so this is already going to be working. We can already test it out. So odd or even, I'll make the call down here. So I'll pass in a few values, uh, one, two and three so we should get the output that um, the number is odd even odd so if i head over to the console log you can see we get odd even odd so just what you would expect but do you notice a problem here this can produce false results for example if i call it with a letter passing in the letter so a and then i take a look at the output this tells me that the number is odd, but I didn't pass a number in there. I passed in the letter A, and that's because it's triggering the else clause if this calculation up here with the remainder um, doesn't equal zero. Now, if it doesn't equal zero, then it certainly means that it's not even, but it doesn't mean that it's an odd number, as is the case with the letter A, or we could pass in um, a number with a decimal point and same problem, it's going to return that the number is odd. So to solve this, what I can do is create a sort of a check at the beginning of the function. So here I'm going to create an if statement, and I want to check if the number passed in is an integer. Now, luckily, on the number object in JavaScript, there's an inbuilt method for checking if a value is an integer, and it's just is integer and then we can pass x into it now we want to check if that is true now if it's true then we actually don't want to execute the if statement so i'm going to negate that so now if the number is not an integer it's going to execute the if statement and in here i'm going to say console.error and if you're not familiar with console.error, it logs a message to the console that is highlighted so it's clear that it's an error saying input invalid. Now, I need to add a return before this to stop the function execution because at the moment, if I pass in A, it's going to log this error to the console, but it's still going to go ahead with the rest of the function. I want it to stop at this point. So I'm going to add a return statement beforehand so it stops function execution. So this should all be working now. So I'm gonna test it out with a few 
input. So I'm going to first of all see if the errors are working. When I enter a character and a decimal, I should get two errors. It should work if I pass in some valid input as well. So I'll say one, two, and three. And we should get back odd, even odd. So everything's working just fine. Now, if you want to be a real fancy pants and impress your friends, you can condense this if else statement down using the ternary operator. And the way that you do this, in case you're not familiar with it, is place the first the condition statement here, followed by the expression to be executed. If the condition on the left hand side is true, followed by what will be executed if it isn't. So this is the same functionality as the if else, but on a single line. So let's just check that one more time to see it's all working. So exactly the same output. Now you might be thinking, why don't we try and condense the output here? Well, the reason is that a conditional written with the ternary operator has to have effectively an else statement um, otherwise it doesn't work. So this only has an if statement, but we can condense it down to one line by simply putting everything on one line because it's fairly straightforward. And then our entire output is on one line. So I'm fairly zoomed in here. Now you can see all on one line. And if I go back, it's giving us the same output. So that's it. You can now add this function to your project and call it as many times as you need.